Coach knows the best. Good morning, guys. Ooh, happy hump day. It's Wednesday today. Woke about 164.5. So even less than yesterday. So that's pretty crazy. 164.5. Happy about that. So today, off day. Um, usually my off days, I just do tons of video work and tons of emails and that sort of thing. So it looks like I'll probably be doing that. I don't even know if I'm going to be filming anything today since... Just gonna be like emails and all that shit. So, had a good day yesterday with the girlfriend. Watched The Godfather 2, finished that up while eating Froyo, so that was pretty nice. Had a good time. She's off visiting UC Davis now. I'm left all alone in her house. I should just run around butt naked. Run around butt naked. But, no, I won't do that. That's crazy talk. Okay, probably going home now after I eat or something like that. Home from the girlfriends. I guess it's time for me to eat yet again. I got a text this morning from my mom asking me why I put that video of her when she was cooking the fish yesterday or two days ago or maybe like a week ago. I don't remember that was. But uh, she was like, why did you put the fish on Facebook? It's funny. She thinks everything's Facebook. She doesn't realize there's like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and that she's on all of them. She only knows about Facebook. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Dad and I are starting season five of Dexter. I think I met the right woman. Pretty stoked. She's perfect because Rita is. Can't believe, can't believe Rita's dead. You guys gotta check out all this tilapia right here. Fuck, hella tilapia. Courtesy of the papa. Anyway, I'm stoked. I love my dad. He's the best. So my hamstring is still kind of sore. It's still kind of a little tweaked up. So I'm not doing legs today. It's supposed to be a leg day today. Uh, but I think today I might start what may be my new program. I'm thinking of doing it like this. I have a f basically upper body day, lower body day, pull day, off. Upper, you know, lower, pull, off. And uh, just repeat like that. And probably have three upper days, three different lower days, and uh, three different pull days. And it just goes back and forth um, from one to the next to the next back to the first um, it's probably the way I'll do it I'll probably go through three full cycles of all three uh, you know workouts of all three days uh, before doing like a deload cycle of maybe six workouts or so or maybe even nine workouts so uh, we'll see how this goes guys I'm really looking forward to this um, although I don't know if this is the program I'm actually going to be hitting this is kind of just an ad hoc, it's kind of just a, uh, wow, my leg isn't healed up and I'm in the gym today. And uh, it may be the beginning to the new program. We'll see, we'll see. Today's August 8th, uh, tomorrow's my dad's birthday. And uh, <laughs> I want you to take a second and guess his age before I go ahead and tell you uh, what year he was born. You guys have seen my videos before. Uh, obviously he's a little bit older, but um, Okay, hopefully you have guessed how old he is. Maybe guess what year he was born. It's my dad. Alright. He was born in uh, 1935. So, uh, do the math. And uh, it's his birthday tomorrow. Probably going, uh, it's like Black Angus tonight or something like that. Taking uh, him, my family, girlfriend's family out for that. So, having a good time. Tomorrow is actual birthday. I'm going to a San Francisco Giants game with uh, the girlfriend, and uh, it's actually my first Giants game. Shit, I think this is my first baseball game ever. I don't know if I've ever been to a baseball game, honestly. Um, I, I seriously think this is the first one. This has to be the first one. I can't remember ever going to a baseball game. So uh, this will be my first game, going with the girlfriend, and... Uh, meeting up with Lovato, uh, Kelsey, and uh, we're gonna go out to dinner, go to the game, and then we're spending the night like in Vacaville or something like that. So that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, okay, so today is my upper body day. Basically, it's just going push, pull, push, pull, uh, skull crushers, abs, I think. So it looks like a total of six exercises for today. Um, and we will uh, see how it goes. I think I'm doing incline bench, pull downs, um, some sort of horizontal row, um, and maybe uh, dips. I think I'm doing dips. 
So that's the workout. It's it looks like an overall like much more high volume like it, as, as a total workout than uh, a typical push day or a typical pull day. So uh, looks pretty intense in terms of all that volume just from all the exercises. And uh, we'll see how it goes. As you guys know, I'm really trying to up my overall back workout volume. So if I actually pick this plan and stay on it, it, it basically means that I'm hitting my back every two days. Um, so that's something that's gonna be totally new. I don't know how long I'll stay on this. I don't know if, um, I don't know. We will see, we will see. All that matters is, uh, no, matter, no matter what lift, I'm, I'm making sure that uh, I am progressing at it. So that's that. Let's go check out the workout, guys. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, the other reason why, I don't know if this is my actual program, if I'm gonna stay on it or what, or what's going on, is because uh, Lovato is coming down to somewhat live with me as we work on uh, the project, as we work on the website. Um, and the videos and so on and uh, he might be moving down for a month or for a few months or however long it takes and uh, you know be going home on the weekends or something like that but basically we'll be getting a lot of work done and uh, I'm going to want to make our schedules map uh, match up you know perfectly in terms of workouts so that's another reason why I don't know if I'm on this program or not or what's going on because I want it to match up with his so all right guys going for 250 incline bench for six Strength week. Alright All right, guys, gonna drop you some tips on incline bench. Uh, first tip, don't use the uh, the greatest angle possible. For example, if it was any more vertical than this, I would probably not do it. Um, once you get more vertical, it's gonna be doing more front delt and uh, more of your shoulders. So to get more target on your chest, use an angle that's not very steep, that's not very vertical. Flies okay. Dropped it about 20 pounds, which is a little bit more than 7%. Second tip is to really get that chest up, shoulders back. You're trying to work your chest here and not necessarily just your shoulders. So by uh, arching that back, getting that chest really, really high up, shoulders way back, keeping them safe, help target your chest in a safe manner. Set three, these back offsets feel pretty good. So, set three. Last but not least, practice a full range of motion from the top of the rep to the bottom of the rep where it touches your chest. If you can't do that, then work on your mobility um, aside with working on your strength and hypertrophy. So, mobility is really important. Get it so you can use a full range of motion on most of your exercises, if not all exercises. If you have a problem, address it, fix it. So, next up, I did these pull downs here. And you can see I'm using about a shoulder width grip, just maybe a little bit wider than the shoulder grip. Actually, right around shoulder grip. And that's, I feel like they target the lats the best in terms of um, width. So not necessarily close grip, not wide grip. Um, those don't necessarily hit your lats better than just a regular shoulder width grip does on pull downs. Next up, dips. And some tips for dips. Um, you do have to be careful when you go deeper than a uh, parallel uh, in terms of the angle of your shoulder to your elbow to your hand um, just be careful when you go down lower than parallel especially when you have a uh, big weight just be careful not to bounce too hard out because it's one of those things that you can go too far and actually strain yourself really really hard it's not like a bench press where the uh, bar stops at your chest with the dip you can go all the way down and just snap shit up so be careful guys. Next up, these pulls here, I call these isolateral pulls. I like to use one arm at a time. And something I learned for this that really helps me target my back is to uh, get that lower back arch and also to really force my chest up and arch that upper back as well. So I'm really feeling it in the lats and uh, not just pulling the weight like a movement. There's certain exercises that I really um, focus on the movement and there's other exercises where I really focus on the muscles now this is a muscle movement for me whereas say a squat deadlift and so on I'm more focused on the movement itself um, it's kind of hard to explain but 
I see that as a total movement, whereas this is more like I'm going for an actual muscle that I'm trying to work. I'm not just hitting a movement. So this is one of my muscle um, movements where I'm trying to uh, really hit the lats. And to do that, like I said, arching lower back, chest up, and really trying to feel it in the lats, pulling towards the lats, not just pulling with my arms. That's a pretty typical uh, advice right there, saying, you know, pull with your elbows and not necessarily with your hands. So pretty exciting with these. I'm starting to work my way up to some decent weight. I'm using 42.5 pounds per side, and then I dropped it my next set down to uh, 40 pounds per side, I believe, or around that, or maybe 37 and a half per side. But I think I'm doing sets of 8, 10, or 12 around that. And uh, a few months ago, I was just using like 25s per side. So I worked my way back up in this. I usually find that's pretty easy for me to do in skull crushers, up to a certain point at least. But as you can see, decline bench. The other bench was being fixed. Somebody fucked it up and broke it. But uh, the decline bench skull crusher, I love this exercise. Uh, really hits the uh, the long head of the triceps. And if you're not, you focus on keeping the weight um, um, kind of behind your head and not directly in front of your, in front of your face. Um, it helps alleviate some of the stress that could be placed on your triceps and perhaps even help develop tendonitis and something that you don't want. Finish it up with these uh, push downs or pull downs you could say with this rope extension. I really like this one to just finish off the, uh, the arms, three or four sets of this and that's pretty much what it is for this uh, day's upper body day. Here at Black Angus, this is what I bought my mom for her birthday. Ah, Remember that? Stop it. <laughs> it's my dad's birthday. Returning 78. Hey, you right, don't have Dad? to say yeah. that. You don't have to tell Dad's birthday. Right. <laughs> hey, he doesn't mind. I don't mind. He doesn't mind. Dad is 39. What are you worried about? Dad likes, likes me on camera. Dad is 39. 49. 49. 49. All right, yeah. My mom's embarrassed with my dad. He's, he's cool with it. He's cool with it. I like that. No. Yeah, taking him to Black I Angus. I didn't even ask Dad if you're allowed no. to say hmm? birthday. My mom's all embarrassed. <laughs> no, you didn't ask Dad for it. <laughs> you trick me! <laughs> right. I always like to my mom. Alright, there you go, Dad. You're on the channel. Alright, happy birthday. You tricked me! I gotta see this. Look at that bad boy right there. Did you go with no ice cream? Did they already order yeah. it? Yeah. 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 That's a mean cake. Right here. <laughs> 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 Can you put the ice, put the ice cream off of it? Thank you. 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 <laughs> Got good, good presents, <laughs> man. I like it. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're missing that. You gotta put the chocolate on it. How was that? Is it good? That? Yeah. Really good. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, it's good. It's really good. Yum, yum, yum. Oh yeah, what's going on over here? Right here, right here, right here. Look. <laughs> Mud pie going down. Mmm. <laughs> People go to my channel black, for fitness advice, black and I give them, <laughs> I give them like slow mo's of eating. <laughs> <laughs> good time. You have to enjoy life. Okay, so I just got back from my dad's. Well, I didn't just get back. It's about 11:42 at night. So it's been a few hours, or a couple hours since we got back from, we went, we, we took my dad out to Black Angus for his birthday, and uh, I thought I was looking pretty cool in the mirror, so, actually my back, um, let me show you guys what that looks like right now, because I thought it looked pretty cool, at least just from the reflection, um, let me back this up a little bit, there we go, and first, and honestly guys, that meal was like, it was a huge meal. Um, I really did not uh, estimate or calculate macros in that meal. Uh, for breakfast, I had a pretty small breakfast. I think I fit it all within seven, eight, nine hundred calories or something like that. I had uh, a protein shake today aside from that breakfast, an apple, and then that meal. That meal was probably maybe uh, two, uh, 1,800 to 2,000 calories. So I'm probably slightly above um, my caloric limit for the day. So I might wake up to a slightly heavier weigh-in tomorrow. We will see. But I uh, thought my back looked pretty cool. I might want to share it with you guys. There we go. Okay. 
I just wanted to share them with you guys real quick. Okay, cool. Equip me, little bitch! Ogus cake!